And my broader concern is our larger strategy in Syria and making sure that we have the capability to continue to conduct those kinds of raids. Um, you know, ISIS is, is broken, um, but they're, they're not done. You still have about 20,000 ISIS fighters throughout Syria and, and Iraq. And, and let me be clear, I'm getting Baghdadi off the chessboard is, is significant. He was responsible for the, the loss of many lives, and this is a, a great victory for the men and women and our special forces, our intelligence community, and our allies. And I think this is an operation that's an example of how you have to have allies and, and resources on the ground in order to get this done. So I want to make sure that we, we are able to uh, enjoy and, and celebrate these kinds of operations in the future. And that's where I think we have to change our policy because the decision to pull out of uh, northern Syria, I, I think, is an is a incredibly bad decision. Um, it's going to impact our allies. Our allies are, are already questioning uh, that whether they can trust us. The, the Iraqi president, I think this weekend or, or yesterday, um, said that he doesn't trust uh, the U.S. And, and the coalition. You mm -hmm. have the Japanese government not participating in a U.S.-led effort to protect ships and waters in the Middle East. Um, so this, is good. this decision has long-term implications.